Okay, so I figured I would do some SS13 guides. I've been playing this so much. It's very, very fun. Uh, disclaimer, by no means am I a pro. So this is just like a beginner teaching other beginners. But I do know a thing or two. I did play it. So it's kind of, this is an old retro PC game. You got to do a bit of RP. Uh, what's the best way to describe it? It's like a futuristic space station. Is this space station? I'm not sure if it's a space station or if it's like a spaceship, technically. But you're doing all sorts of like crazy research, futuristic stuff. And then just imagine it's run by people from like now, I guess. <laughs> so you can imagine everything that can go wrong. Confirmed outbreak of level 7 Nile biohazard aboard a station. All personnel must contain the outbreak. The emergency shot. And probably will go wrong. On top of that, there is also antag rolls. So you got all of this. So you got malfunctioning AI, heretics, revolution, traitors, thieves, wizards that can blow your butt off and then people can attach your butt to your head or the wizard will wear your butt on his head. <laughs> Fugitives. No, yeah, look, you got so much. We all go too much. I'll have to keep this quick because this game is very, very complicated. But uh, what you want to do is set up your character. Now, you do have species. I'd say pick human to start with if you're new because... Some of these add complications and things, and you don't want to, like, confuse yourself too much. I picked Moth. Moth's pretty cool. This is your list of jobs. Be assistant when you're starting, because otherwise you're going to have no idea what to do. Uh, don't pick any antag roles. These are quirks, which you can add. They're like traits, I guess you could say, for IRL. You can add a couple of these, but just read what they do. So colorist and photography is fine, or the zero ones. Like some of them will make it so you can't eat certain foods. You don't want anything like that. Uh, let's see. Hold on, I'll just quickly. So this is kind of what you look like when you're naked. Depending on what role you are, you'll have your little uniform on. This is your name. I'm called Ronald Briggs. I'm going to change it. I like changing my name every round, but I keep what I look like the same. I use human names too, because the moth names are kind of quirky. <laughs> As you can see here, this is like a human guy. I'll show you quickly. you got shirts and things you can change. Little underwear. Um, you got head and a beard. Okay, so that's kind of, you've created your character. And so I have bad ping, so you're going to have to bear with me. I, so this is Floop Station as well. So it might be different depending on what server you're on. Now, if you start the round, like if you're here for the start of the round, you will just spawn in at your location. But if you come in late, which we're going to do... Alright, I'm back, sorry. I uh, got to change my audio. I was going to blame it on technical difficulties, but we don't go into that too much. Also, some guy tried to mug me for my ID. <laughs> but, um, so you've spawned in... Oh, I forgot uh, the rules. Always read the rules. Because uh, this is like a... This is a beginner-friendly server, so you won't... They're not going to go too much off at you. Or anything like that. Because there are admins. If you do get stuck, you can... Uh, I, I think mentor. Ask mentors for help. Only bother the admins. Actually, when you're starting out, don't ever bother the admins, really. Because uh, you're probably going to get killed. There's like, because people play antag roles. What's worse is they will troll you a bit, too. So they will like come up to you and they'll be like, why did you do this? And you'll be like, I didn't do this. And then they'll follow you around and they'll harass you. And then as soon as you're alone, they'll kill you. And you'll be like, oh, what the hell? But that was like their goal. At the start of the round, they got told probably to kill you or something. Or maybe they're a heretical cult and they're trying to sacrifice you to like their demon lord, who knows. But uh, ask the mentors for help. And if you get really, really stuck and no one's helping you, you could ask an admin then. So you got, first thing you want to do, suit sensors. If you're a bad guy, don't do this, but turn on tracking beacon. So that means they can track where you are. Apart from that, you don't need to touch this stuff too much, really. That's just like round time, so it's been up for 21 I'm not sure what station time is. 
Oh, I guess that's the time of the station at 6.30 in the morning. But uh, yeah, round's been on for 21 minutes. This is the chat. All right, so first thing I will teach you is, I guess I think it's help, hotkeys. Boom. You can change these. I changed, where is it? You're probably going to want to read these because these are important. I changed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these last ones just do, I can do a flip if you see I did a flip there. Or I can like waves, so it's saying like I wave. So it's just easier to like up here, I guess, with this kind of stuff. Also, a lot of people seem to flip. I don't know why, so I added the flip. I can shrug too and nod. All right, sorry, <laughs> getting into I only just recently found out you could change these. So this is pretty cool. Because I didn't have a number pad, so a lot of these were number pad, so I was kind of screwed. But uh, you, I don't know if I, I won't go through all of this because then the guide's going to be way too long. But first thing you want to do, click your chair, which will unbuckle you, otherwise you can't move. Also, if you want to sit in a chair, you click yourself and drag, and that'll now you see I'm buckled. Oh, and now I'm unbuckled. W A S and D moves around. Left click opens, click stuff to pick it up. You have a backpack, which is this thing here, which lets you put on stuff. This is a bandana, so now I have a little mask on. Yeah, so I'll probably, I'll try and go over some basic stuff about the station in this one. I'll try not to make it too long. And then I'll start doing guides on all the rolls. I was gonna just do the rolls. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic. But uh, it's like, I don't know, I felt weird not doing a how to play kind of guide. So this is our station, this is Entry Arrivals, I think it's called. Oh, the ship actually leaves. I thought it stayed. Hmm. That's kind of cool. You got oxygen if you have a, uh, like if I had a gas, I'll we'll go over it in a second, if I had an oxygen tank on. My mood, some servers will have moods. I'm feeling all right. My family heirloom safe with me, so don't worry too much about that. That's a quirk I have. I gotta keep this with me, otherwise I get sad. I got my health, my health doll, so if I'm like injured, it'll kind of tell me where it is. And stamina. Oh no, red light means bad, and fire. Alright, so this will happen a lot. Now to open this, you need a crowbar, or... If I can find it, I don't know where this is. I did a guide and this happened literally in the other guide, so we're just going to have to have this in here. Hopefully this won't happen right off the start, but these are fire controls, which if you right click will turn it off. Now it's only going to work for so long, so I'm going to have to try and run. And then we're going to get stuck here, so I'm going to have to click this one. Okay, hopefully there's no fire. Alright, where can we go where it's quiet? Uh, it's in here. We'll go over here. This is like a friendly study zone. Alright, so you got your backpack. You got hands, slot for hands, your radio, which will let you talk to everyone on the station. You can also talk in channels, depending on what department you're in. But we'll go into that a bit later. For this one, you can hit T, so I can just say hi. And anyone around me will see hi. You can put stuff on. So, like the bandana, put that now. I got this little mask on. I think. Is that weights? You can do. So, anything can happen in this game. I remember one round I went AFK quickly and I came back and there was like radiation and then I my head exploded. And then I got brought back to life but without a head. So, I could like bear. You could see. They let you see like one little square around you. So, I all I could do was run around. I couldn't talk or do anything. So, that was quite interesting. I want to see if I can bench. I will say too, I am Aussie, so if you're American or closer to America, you'll probably have a lot better ping. But uh, Fulp Station, if you are Aussie or like, I'm guessing kind of Asian as well, you can probably play on this server. I don't think I can get on here. Oh, I wanted to use it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, look. I'm pumping weights. <laughs> Alright, how do I get off the weights? There we go. Oh, the fire. It won't go away. Okay, so you're an assistant. You know how to open... Oh, shh. Not again. 
Okay, so probably the first thing you want to do is grab a crowbar, which I can't even show you now because we're trapped. This literally happened to me last time. This is base station in a nutshell. Oh, please let me out, let me out. Oh, they got a crowbar, okay. Yes. Okay, we'll quickly grab... Alright, we can continue this. These are all vending machines too, so you'll see at some point you'll get hungry. And you can get smokes too if you want to have a cigarette. On this server you do get paid. So uh, hopefully I can afford food. It sounds so bad, it's like real life, oh god. Uh, fun. I got a box of crayons. You can dye your if you grab like a crayon. There was a rainbow one, but I guess it's gone because I haven't seen it. But uh, if you put them in here, you can dye your stuff in the washing machine. I uh, uh, I should gotta go through everything. Okay. Sorry for the. You just have to put up with the fire alarm. Actually, in here it's quite quiet. So you've looked at your hotkeys, you've kind of, I'll leave you to get a general idea of like what stuff is. But yeah, you can pick stuff up. R will make you in throw mode, so it's also you can click down here and you can throw stuff. If you have a gun and stuff, you just left click and you can shoot it. You can left click and right click on this server. Oh, sorry, X changes hands, so you got two hands down here. This is left hand, right hand. If you pick something up, you can change to your other hand, or if you click here, you can like swap. Oh, what did that do? I changed it into something. C will activate items in your hand too, so if you click it or if you hit C, you can. I can change the hat. It's like a little hat now instead of a bandana. That's funny. What's this called? Oh, it's still green bandana. Oh, I get it, yeah, because it goes over your head. Yeah, so I'm not sure what I call the graphics in this, but uh, I kind of like it. It's cool, retro-y. Anything can happen in this game. You never know. Uh, so you got your ID. First thing you want to do to put your ID in your little... What is this called? Little portable microcomputer. In here, up here you can turn on lights, or you can, if you click them, you can also, I think in, for this one it's here. You can also direct message people, you got a little notepad. I don't know what hardware configuration tool. Okay, don't fiddle with this, I, I don't know what this does. See, this is like super complicated. Make sure you put it in your ID slot, you got an ID slot. Without it in your ID slot, if you shift click right, it'll say here he's wearing assistance ID. If I take it off and I put it in my bag, now I'm unknown, so people don't know who I am, and security will probably jump me and be like, who the fuck are you? Why are you on our ship without your ID? Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, so cola machines or vending machines, that's a disposal unit. This is hydroponics for growing plants and things to give to the chef. This is the janitor. He's probably the good role, he's the one I'll do first, I'll do that next round. So I can teach you guys how to be a janitor. Yeah, first time be assistant, and then yeah, after that I'd say be janitor. But uh, this is evac. You kind of want to learn where this is because when everything goes really, really bad, the ship will like evacuate or space station. I guess it's space station. Where's station? I'll call it a station. So uh, when the station gets evac, you need to go there. This is med bay. If you get injured, like here, I'm not 100%. What is wrong with me? I'm numb. Why am I numb? This is a little heal bot. He'll heal me. That is a trash to saw. I don't even know what that is. An evolved rat created through some strange science. They lead nearby rats with deadly efficiency to protect their kingdom. Not technically a king. <laughs> it's like a rat king. Okay, this Bibu bot should be healing me. Let's see what these two. I think this is security. This is a, s a shaft miner. All right, we should be fine. We'll get out of there. We just let a whole bunch of people in med bay. Uh, Sure, it's fine. 
sure none of them are traitors planning to murder us all. I think that that was the security there. This little hydroponics person growing their little crops. Wait, is this this isn't hydroponics? I think this is grow your own little garden. But there is like a bigger hydroponics area. This is curator. They have like a little museum here. They don't really do much. I think that's an assistant just sitting in a chair. Oh no, cargo technician. Uh, canvas. I think you can paint stuff. Oh, that's cool. People can play like D and D if you want to like. <laughs> yeah, you can play D and D in the game. If you want to do that, this is a little robot, Beepski. He will arrest you if you're wanted. So watch out for him if you're causing trouble. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, let's grab one of these. That is empty, of course it is. All right, let's grab this one, which is also empty. Let's try this one. I'll dr if you drag it onto, you can open it too without picking it up. All right, they're all empty, so there's no tools here. <laughs> I like how this guy's just dragging deadly rat around. Are there any tools in here? No. So when you start out playing, just you're gonna have to learn the map. There's also like five maps. I don't even know them all. This is the kitchen, the chef. If you pick Tumen, you can pretty much eat most stuff. It's a corgi burger. I think I'm. I'm gonna need a cheeseburger. Right, where you do cheeseburger. If you have something on, it'll let me do it with the mask, but if you have, oh, I can't eat the cheeseburger. Oh, uh. Alright, that's me being sick, because I'm a moth. I like how I said yeah in full capitals. Why did I say yeah in full capitals? That wasn't me. I've got quirky speech thing. Green eggs and ham? What's this like? Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I ate the wrong foods. This is why it's easier to be human, because a human could eat probably any of that. Alright, hopefully I'll be fine. No, I, that, I was sick. Uh, what else can we cover in this? This is probably not a good guide at all beginner's guide so you wander around your ship you got your little backpack also if you lose this you'll start losing pockets because you technically don't have a shirt on these are little like I guess pants pockets there's combat in this so if you want to like you can don't attack people when you're starting out people will attack you what you want to do is right click which is like shove them and then just try and run away and get security you're allowed to defend yourself but when you're starting out, you don't know what's happening, so it's better. Just run away. Run to med bay or to security. And just call for help. Be like, help me. I don't want to die. And someone will save you. Um, so you got combat. I changed mine. So you hit F. Turns it on and off. Which d chooses how you react to people. So when I click someone, now I'll attack them. Instead of, I will now head pat them. I'll give them a hug, maybe. Uh, if you need to give CPR, you want to make sure you're set to the mouth, make sure combat's not on, and then you left click someone. And then you'll start giving them CPR, which will hopefully save their life. Uh, hold down O. Uh, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Sorry, hold down uh, left Alt, and then click, and you can drag stuff. And H will drop it. You can also hide in these lockers if your stuff's getting dangerous. Now we're hidden in here. People can weld you in though, so be careful. We don't want to get welded in there. Uh, I'll go over quickly air, because a lot of the times you're going to start gasping. You'll see stuff appear here. Oh, don't tell me this is going to kill me. Uh, yeah, there you go. So this is saying low pressure, and then you'll also get one, like an oxygen one. So what you want to do is oh, Q drop stuff as well. I'm going to drop that because you only got two hands. We'll take off the mask. Put down our little gas mask. Now you can put this in a pocket. Not in your backpack, I don't think. But uh, you click here. And now we got our internals on. So now we're breathing safe oxygen. You want to do that a lot. Especially if you see the fire stuff going off. Can I? Yeah, so if you see this stuff going off. 
it's a good indication to get your internals ready. Uh, C, while walking, will make you walk slow. You want to do that if the floor's slippery. Because if the janitor while cleaning makes the floor slippery. Love in silence. Where do you go? You will slip over. I want to run a, a banana peel as well. You'll get used to it. You can just like quickly hold C and then... Uh, he's not... We can follow him but he'll get sus because we're an assistant. People will suspect you of being bad as well as an assistant. Attention. If you do get the hang of it and you want to change your role, there's... Oh, look, this is male. A place where... This is cargo, so stuff gets delivered here and then shipped all around the station. Engineering keeps like the ship in power. I think it's still run. I haven't done redone the engineering. But I think it's still run on this thing called a singularity, which if it gets loose, eats like the whole ship and there's nothing you can do. You're all gonna like evacuate. Confirmed out. Break of level five biohazard and the as you can see, we got a level Personal five biohazard outbreak. outbreak. So that's not necessarily, I don't think like a virus or anything like that. That's probably like an alien creature or something. I don't know what the levels are. I'm sure if you read somewhere in the wiki, it'll have it. Armory is open. They've opened the armory. Ooh. This is, I think, a little arcade game. That's cigarettes. If you want to have, like, a... we'll have a smoke. Why not? Okay, I can't afford it because I'm assistant. I don't. I make no money. So, okay, you're gonna want a real job to make money. <laughs> no. So yeah, be an assistant. Walk around, kind of have a look where stuff is. This is science. They can turn you into a robot, but that's like another whole job I'd recommend saving that. Pretty much, yeah, you want to learn all your jobs, kind of get a general idea, and then you want to be all your end tag roles. And then maybe right at the end, Captain. You should probably do end tag roles before Captain, or our Head of Personnel, probably. Or Head of Security. Do Security kind of last as well. Because uh, you don't want to be arresting people that aren't doing anything wrong. You want you got to know your space law. Yeah, <laughs> I don't trust him. I just throw it a mask. Uh, we can cover crafting quickly. So if you click something in your hand, Evacuate you science. can craft stuff. So for example, you can craft a toilet. I just built a toilet. Can I sit on the toilet? Uh, I think you just gotta sit like this. I don't know if I can drag myself onto it. There is, I will have to do a combat episode, but uh, if you can drag people just by if you hold alt and click. Also, if you're on paradise station, all these controls will be different. But uh, if you're on floop, these will all be the same. And so you can drag a person like this if they're like dying and then say this was a person we carry them to med bay They're sorry. They're probably all let's just open it. I'm wondering. Yeah, you see how this person here is probably All right, they moved him too quick, but he might be dead Um, We'll go out. I'll cover as well cuz I'm gonna have to wait now for next round, but it's okay Yeah, it's gonna happen when you Play a lot and you're not going to know what to do is death if I can oh, there we go all right now we're gonna float until I die so you see here low pressure we have no oxygen oh I dropped the oxygen mask oh, I got my own you do spawn with your own little box so if I grab this I put this on and I turn this on I can give myself oxygen but we're gonna die anyway the pressure will kill us and now we're just kind of floating in space so there's miners that go to like some crazy planet with all sorts of crazy bosses and whatnot. You got science, which has like people that mess with aliens and then slimes or genetics, which gives you superpowers. You got engineering, which runs the power. Atmos, which does the air and things, I guess. I never did Atmos. I have to do Atmos one day. You also got... Oh, you guys can hear this. I don't think this is copyright music, so we should be fine. I, I had to turn off the music in the settings. Oh, look, we found something, like an abandoned space station. It's really cool being, um, like, someone that has a spacesuit, because there's so much stuff outside of the space station. 
This game is like massive, it's crazy. It's like an MMO, but not an MMO. I don't know what kind of genre this is, but it's very fun. It's open source code too, which is even more crazy. The guy made it and then was like, here, do with it what you will. Yeah, I've seen there's like, oh, what is it? Aliens vs Predators game mode, I think. Oh, I, no, I don't know Predator, Aliens vs Humans, I guess you'd call it. Blob, there's a blob. So there's a giant blob creature that's slowly taking over the station, which is pretty bad. All right, so we have, we're dead. Dun dun, it's told us here, we have died. Now, you can just move and you will be a ghost. Oh, so we're never getting recovered, who knows what the hell we just wound up. Now, when you talk, you talk in dead chat. And you can can also see everything. I think you can edit these some of these settings in Ghost if you want to fiddle with it. We want to... Oh, when you do die, there is some just fun little weird stuff you can do. Bioweapon scientist. Sorry, I've never done any of these. I was just like reading some of these quickly. So you can do all of those. I would not recommend doing that. I'd recommend learning to play first. All right, so we're gonna teleport to, oh, you can teleport around. Some of these are like, these are off the ship, the AI chamber, just so we're back on the ship. Okay, so this is the AI, it runs the ship. Oh, we got this little cute little creature, it's a cat. It uh, can also go rogue and take over the ship, or try to, and then you got to try and kill it. Uh, oh my god, on this ship it's all the way out there. Now functioning AI would be so hard on this. You got... So you're dead, obviously, now. Yeah, you can talk in dead chat. You can uh, re-enter your corpse if someone finds your corpse and brings you back to life. You can teleport to people. You can be someone's PDA, which is like that little thing you put your ID in at the start. Uh, there's mini games. But uh, pretty much you just chill out here and you can kind of watch. You gotta wait for the round to end. So when, unless someone brings you back. So it can be a while. You can wait like 20 or 30 minutes, depending how long the server goes for. So this is the blob that's slowly killing everyone. These are slimes from science. You make all sorts of different ones. But uh, yeah, there's a lot to take in. You kind of look around, see what's up as your assistant. You'll probably die, it'll happen. Be careful of the fire doors. Use a crowbar. We never really got a crowbar, but I don't know what's that. that there's a wrench. You can destruct everything too and build like pretty much everything as well. All these machines, the walls, the doors, everything. There's So there's construction. There's medical, there is service. What would be the main four? Medical, construction, I guess security would be another one. Um, science probably is one. Chemistry. Attention. You gotta learn all your chemicals and things, which is what this guy does. They added boilers now too. This game is extremely complicated, but it's really fun to learn. And then, like, it's, once you know what you're doing, you can do some really fun, crazy stuff. Like, genetics, you give yourself all sorts of crazy superpowers and things. But I'll, I'll probably leave this one here. What is this? Oh, there's, like, a, a black hole. I like how all these other ghosts are here. <laughs> Anomaly Vortex has an object of interest. The emergency shuttle has been called. Oh, I wonder if... So this is kind of like the Singularity, but the Singularity is bigger. What did we do? Did we... Did the ghost kill it? I'm not sure why it taught us to come to it. Maybe it res someone or something. So this is a little... A Borg, which is now repairing all the floors. And same with this guy who has a suit on. He's probably an engineer. But uh, on next episode, we'll go janitor. And I'll show you how to be a janitor.
All right, I will leave it here because I don't want this to be too long. <laughs> Have a good day or night, depending where you live. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.